That's right. It's Flash Beagle's 40th anniversary. Now, this is the thing I remembered most about. I, I kind of remember it briefly. This is, I like this television. This is a Zenith Space Age television from the 80s. Look at that. Isn't that a nice TV? Look at this TV. This is what I remembered uh, briefly. I remember that it was on Betamax. Like, my sister, my older sister would record this on Betamax, right? So we had Betamax, then we had VHS. So I remember her watching this a couple of times. Now, this debuted on April 16th, 1984. And I don't think it ever rebroadcasted. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, uh, tell me. But uh, you have to tell me because it was on CBS. And then, it, I mean, we're not talking about re-releases. I don't talk about, I don't think it ever debuted again on CBS. We're talking about the CBS era. Because remember, the Peanuts debuted on CBS in the 1960s. And then in 92, they stopped after, was it Christmas time again? That was the final one. Then it did a 94 special for the Super Bowl. And then it kind of shifted around to direct, direct to DVD. And then Charles Schultz had passed away. And made a couple of specials. They went up to ABC. Then they can they canceled the Sunday comic strip. I remember that. They they canceled the re-release of the seventies comic strip because uh, after Blue Sky with the, the the Peanuts movie in twenty fifteen, then Apple got it. So Apple owns Flash Beagle now. So I don't want Apple on my case. I don't even have an Apple product except that little iPod that I found in the park one day. But this is um. Yeah, we're looking at an old TV here. So we're going to we're going to start. This is going to be like Saturday morning, okay? Um because nowadays, I mean, you've seen that little short I showed you about what Amaya's cartoons were. Uh nowadays it's Bob's Burgers, it's The Simpsons, it's uh Family Guy and uh what is it? North North Bergen or whatever it is, North North Star, North whatever it is. The one that looks like Bob's Burgers. Look at me, way up high. There's an aurora borealis in the sky. I don't know what that is. I can't. I don't remember that. But that that's your era. And whatever is on Adult Swim and whatever you could find that's on Netflix, okay? Uh, but back then, we had Garfield and we had... So you would look in the... in The, the only way you would know, you prepare. You look in the TV guide. And the TV guide, you, you look at the listings for the days of the week. And you'd see this, right? You'd see the uh, the what it, whether it's Garfield or Peanuts. You would see the advertisement advertisement. It'd be on Fridays. Let me see the. I forgot. I didn't pay attention here. Uh, it would say seven p.m. Now, I remember it being like eight p.m. in the later eighties. In fact, the first the first VHS tape my sister recorded for me was. The very first Kathy cartoon, uh, look it up if you don't know who Kathy is. They, I'm surprised the CW never captured on it, but I guess there's been so many Kathy-like shows on the CW or Fox, like Ally McBeal or some shite that, you know, you don't really need it. But you had Kathy and you had, uh, what is it, the Peanuts, uh, uh, Happy New Year, Charlie Brown, right? So, and that was 80, 88. But that cartoon came out in 85, I think, or 86. Or is it 84 to 85, I, I think. I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember, okay? Because keep in mind, I was six, seven years old. At this time, I was almost six. I wasn't even six yet. But I kind of remember this song. I remember Snoopy dancing. This was, what happened was Charles Schultz, looking this up, Charles Schultz got a flash dancer and they choreo, choreo, choreographed her moves I made it Snoopy's move. So Snoopy would, this was like 80s disco. The way I remembered it was that Snoopy would dance all the time and they closed down the disco and Snoo uh, Snoopy was sad and he went home. But obviously that's not exactly the way it happened, but that's the way I remembered it. I don't know. <laughs> like, it was like uh, when Snoopy went to the circus and um, I guess it was too much work for Snoopy to be with this poodle to join the circus. So he went back home. He went back home to being a dog, being Charlie Brown's dog. But like it was like one of those things where you do something and because it doesn't work out, you go back to step one, just like every sitcom episode, right? 
So we're going to now start. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to cut through this because of copyright. I don't want this video blocked. I don't want this video claimed. So I'm going to do my damnedest here. But let us turn this damn TV on. Oh, we're really getting there now. We're getting in the mood. Let's tune to CBS. <laughs> I remember all these guys, the Jeffersons at Dukes of Hazard, Dallas, one day at a time. <laughs> ah, the news. Now this is where they say we can't show this. I remember this show very well when I was six or seven. But we'll return next Monday at this time on most of these stations. Now, how does every special start? That's right. That's Charlie Brown. <laughs> Where does he get these dance moves? Now it's nighttime. And here comes the iconic music. <laughs> here it is. Wow. Charlie Brown, sponsored by Mix and Eat, Cream of Wheat, Instant Hot Cereal. Where are those? The They're not there anymore. Some products kind of come and go. That's just how it is. You wonder, whatever happened? Whatever, remember when Marty McFly mentioned Pepsi Free? But there was a Pepsi Free. Now we'll pause a moment here. We'll do some pausing moments just to help uh, keep this video intact here or viewable. But um, the commercials here were very simple, very wholesome. Either they were wholesome or they were funny. And you had real comic actors in these commercials. And also, I think they're copyright claiming commercials after what happened with fucking Masters of the Universe. But um, yeah, I mean, we started out with football, then we get to dancing. And this was really what it's, it's a musical. Now, I do remember two musicals. To be fair, one was this one and then Snoopy the musical in which Snoopy talked. I mean, Snoopy had a, had a, he didn't move his lips, but he had a thinking voice like Garfield. And it was very strange. Very strange indeed. That was 88. What a time 88 was. Anyway, let's go on. Continuing on. Those are good though, by the way. You can find those at Target. Dogs everywhere love this classic. Milk bone does for you. <laughs> That's why these commercials could be funny, right? I love you a bunch. Milk bone dog. That's uh, Porthos from Enterprise. <laughs> I don't think the dog could live that long, could he? What is this one? Guess what this commercial is? I have no idea. The coconut of almond, rich dark chocolate. The coconut of almond joy with creamy milk chocolate. Taste I like almond joy. They don't advertise that anymore. Along with your peppermint patties. Taste the sensation. We've got the touch. Of course they do. <laughs> Here we go. How does Papa know these things? I I didn't even watch. I have not watched this particular video. Somebody posted. This is the one I remember too. That's great, Arthur. You win a silver. That's not this one. Ah, Ritz crackers. Couple of crackers promoting crackers. Now the market pantry makes their own version now. Lush apples, red and rice. 
It's better with milk, honestly. <laughs> they don't do the Bisco commercials like this anymore. It's Flash Beagle Charlie Brown, sponsored by Mix and Eat Cream of Wheat Instant Hot Cereal. All the flavors are all natural and by Curry Chocolate Bars. Okay, so what we're about to watch, I, I think they cut through the commercials to the end, but we'll watch the end credits at the end, of course, just like just like old times. So we're going to look at a little bit of Peppermint Patty's I'm in shape or get in shape or whatever the fuck this is. Um, you know, who, you know, Charlie Brown has different girlfriends. Uh, I always think Lucy is the one that plays the hardest to get when she plays the, when uh, she plays football with him. I don't know. Anyway, so we got Lucy, we got Sally, we got Peppermint Patty. So let's see a little bit of this. I'm going to try to get around all the, you know, the BS. Gym is my favorite class. I'm so dumb. I wish all classes were gym. <laughs> I sure look forward to his cute, that little red haired girl. Pepper and Patty's a tease. This is where they try to do like parodies of like other songs. <laughs> I will say it's uncharacteristic of uh, any, uh, you know, you're watching this at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. as I could remember. I remember the prime time would start at 8 p.m. But anyway, why would you be telling tell people to exercise at 8 p.m. at night? It doesn't make no sense, does it? Unless you were starting a graveyard shift and you're assuming most of the people that watch this are about, I don't know, my age, five, six, seven years old. Anyway, let's let's move on to the next uh, the next card, to, the next musical. So there's Snoopy and on the town. Okay, gang. We're now, what's about to happen here is that uh, this is a Lucy says. It's basically Lucy's the boss. So we'll go through a little bit of this. Simon says, turn around. Simon, okay, it's my turn now. <laughs> Unbearable. No. Don't listen to Lucy. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's down to three and Snoopy. Snoopy's not doing shit. <laughs> Never going to happen. Ha <laughs> Okay, so we're coming upon another. This is the, this is on the same night. It's almost like uh, you know, uh, Peanuts Halloween or uh, it's the Great Pumpkin where they spend the night doing something, right? So, just like bobbing for apples or whatever the fuck. But here they're just doing different musicals. So, by the way, I want to do a little side uh, sidewalk side step here. My my oldest sister took me to a college gathering not a sorority not a fraternity but like a like where a bunch of college kids would hang out and i don't know when this was i believe it might have been in the early 80s like 85 or some shite and there were actors were people trying to be different characters one was charlie brown one was i don't know if it was a girl being charlie brown but everybody was dressed up as one of the peanuts so lucy charlie brown linus and Snoopy, I think. I don't know what it was. Some sort of play that they were doing. I I could barely remember. This was so many years ago. You know what I mean? Like it was just so many years ago. Anyway, I'm I'm rem I, you know I'm trying to go back in time, but trying to I barely can remember this. Okay, let's let's see a little bit of Pig Pen Ho Down. When does this kid ever take a fucking bath? <laughs> Yeah, Snoopy's getting into it. <laughs> now, what we're about to see is probably the greatest uh, segment of all of them. This is the reason why we're watching it, right? So, I'll kind of, we'll have to go through this one very quickly. 
in the space of three minutes, I have to chop it down here. So let's go to it. He's on the town. <laughs> break dancing, break dancing. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 80s disco. Flash Beagle. I can't <laughs> Now this is this is him preparing for the dance. What does he need to shave? <laughs> Gotta figure out the right outfit. Now I can't can't do seventies disco. Gotta be eighties. Not Joe Cool. <laughs> There you go, it's 80s style. I'm waiting for my sweet fat boo. Why didn't Linus why doesn't Linus ever respond to Sally? <laughs> because my sweet fat boo asked me to have the next dance with him. Hmm. I did not. It's in Spanish. I did the best I could here. Híjole. Come on, take the dog to school. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. What's this? Is George the Chameleon? Jorge, Jorge the Chameleon. Dog, the dog's tired. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Come on, Snoopy. What are you doing, man? <laughs> That dog can't do nothing. That's a dumb dog. <laughs> My chameleon can do more. Yeah. Watch. Here we go. <laughs> the nicest ending we get. <laughs> Yeah, how do you like that? <laughs> well, I'll say some final thoughts. It it was a nice experience, a nice walk through, nice trip back to when I was a child. I hadn't I hadn't reached the age of reason. I still had a hard childhood. My father was an angry person. My sisters fought fought each other. Nobody got along. Nobody spoke to each other. Um, but. You know, it was a nice escape to, to look at these things and to look at Garfield, look at Peanuts, the specials, um, on top of the Saturday morning cartoons. Um, this is all we had. You know, the, the Simpsons wasn't around yet. Family Dog, I think, came out in 86. Family Guy, you know, King of the Hill, the PJs, South Park, Beavis and Butthead. That was a long way off. All we had was this, and this is just great memories. So I hope you had fun too watching this. Uh, just this little retro look. Um, 40 years. Thanks a lot. Flash Beagle. <laughs>